Okay, it's beer o'clock again on the Real Ale Guy. Today's beer is a beer from the Bristol Beer Factory and it's a bottle of this Southville Hop. Coming in at 6.5 ABV. Yeah, 6.5% ABV. Really looking forward to this. Tried some of the wife's when she reviewed it. Thoroughly enjoyed it. You've got to get these hoppy beers drank fresh. This one at Seba National Champion 2012 gold medal with Seba. If you're watching from far afield, Seba do regional competitions around the UK. The beers that win the regional competitions then go on to the nationals so for this to win a gold medal in 2012 is pretty it's a pretty big deal because as you as you know you, you know, everybody knows around the world that britain has thousands hundreds and hundreds of, of breweries might be even thousands I, I you know i don't know so it's a pretty big deal for this brewery to get a gold medal. It must be some beer. Okay, what are we getting? The beer in the glass looks mysterious. It's a mysterious looking, dark, kind of velvety, thick looking quality brew. It's bottle conditioned, you can see the, the bits of sediment there, little bits and pieces floating around. It's a one finger head, it's off white, different consistency in the bubbles, let's get a nose on this beer then. Oh, it smells absolutely phenomenal. It's just pungent, pungent citrus grapefruit. With a really nice tasting malt there as well. I cannot wait anymore. I've got to get into this beer. Cheers, everybody. Oh. I'm on my back foot. I'm on my back foot here. It's almost making me take a step back. What a beer. Stone the Crows. Absolutely amazing. Amazing, amazing beer. It's, it's tropical fruit. If you go to a shop, if you go to Bristol Beer Factory, if you buy this online completely by accident and you crack this open and you think you're getting a pretty regular best bitter you are going to be so surprised so surprised by this It's a lovely multi backbone. It's a huge, huge citrus bomb that hits you. Round about now, the finish is sublime. Absolutely sublime. Next thing I want to talk about then is the carbonation and the mouthfeel. Very drinkable, but it's a medium mouthfeel. It kind of sticks to the inside of your palate. And for me that can only be a good thing, because when a beer does that, 
it really does, if you, if you want a beer to be completely flavoursome, then you're going to design the beer to be like that. Because when it's sticking to the inside of your palate, when it's sticking on the inside of your throat, right at the back there, you've still got tasting buds, taste buds all around the back. It just pulls the maximum possible flavour from the beer. <coughs> it's, it's really difficult for me to stand here and tell you how good this beer is. If you're an experienced beer drinker and you've not tried this beer, I suggest you go out and get this beer. It's, 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 for me, I'm not really, really an arty person at all. My wife took me to an art gallery. I look around and I go, mm, yeah. You know, I can see that these people have put a lot of effort in. But it's not my cup of tea. This is art for me. This is art for me. Juicy, it's fruity, it's malty, it's thick, it's luxurious. It looks mysterious. It looks like it's from days gone by. It, it, <laughs> proper old fashioned beer. Proper old fashioned beer. It looks like, but it's not. Really isn't. If I seem slightly disturbed, it's because I'm in this big old lonely house on my own. And somebody, I just heard footsteps going up the stairs. <laughs> so, if I was slightly taken aback then and kind of disconnected from what I was saying, it's because somebody just walked up my staircase. But, on with the job at hand. I was saying, it's, it looks mysterious. It looks something from a day gone by. But in the same sentence I can say that the beer is 100% young, fresh and sexy. It really is. I'm going to stop gassing, I'm going to give you a rating. First of all, before I give you a rating, I'll give you a little bit on the side of the bottle. Seba uh, National Overall Champion 2012 Bottled Beer. This American inspired IPA is powerfully hopped with Columba, Citra and Simcoe hops. Packing it with tropical fruit aromas and flavours. Attractively amber in colour, it is a big, strong beer to balance all those hops. Really wonderful beer. Enjoy this beer with spicy food or share it with a friend. It's too good to keep to yourself. It's bottle conditioned. This is a real ale and it's been fermented in the bottle. This beer is alive, unfiltered and unpasteurised. I, pardon me, I love that sentence. It's how people brew beer in this country for hundreds of years. It's how it is. It's real ale. You can follow these guys on Facebook. It's on.fb.me forward slash beer Facebook. Bit of an awkward one guys. Um, Twitter is Briss Beer Factory. And well, I think you guys know what I'm going to give this. Time for the rating. This gets for me no other. It has to be a big Stone the Crows 10 out of 10. It's a 10 out of 10 beer from the Real Ale Guide. It just punches citrus, fruity, tropical aromas at me. 
I want a beer does that. I want a beer looks mysterious like that in a glass. I love it. I absolutely love it. Thanks for watching me, The Real Ale Guy. Put your comments in the comments box. Check out Bristol Beer Factory if you haven't already. Subscribe if you like and cheers.